Hello, hello, welcome on back to an episode of Half-Life 2, episode 2, I think this is episode 12? I think it is. Uh, last episode we uh, sealed off the secondary silo, by the way, so I'm drink a copy. Uh, we sealed off the secondary silo, met it back up with Alex and the uh, scientist of Bordegonta guy. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Place of honor. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Really? Loading screen. And this loading screen was toggled by the event of the door finished closing. It was actually a... Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how many people are familiar with uh, map making for the Valve engine uh, using a program called Hammer, uh, but there actually is an event uh, for when the door opens and the door closes. Uh, so like when the door finishes opening, there, there's a there, there's an event during the process. It's almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. You heard that their research vessel had simply disappeared, mm -hmm. vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. I'm trying to remember the how the Borealis was again. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all <sighs> potential. That was a very hard skin. you anything. There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness. Wait a minute. Coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Yeah, I was going to say, those are blueprints. Genius. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the combine catches, he'll tear out everything she knows. There'll hmm. be nothing left of her. But we don't know. You don't actually sure. the next I games I do, Portal and Portal 2. I'm going after Dad. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you. You know everything about the resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. I have to agree with Kleiner, actually. More than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Medicaid. I was inside of Kleiner. The hell? Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Do you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him. Yeah. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. 
Uh-huh. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. Yeah? You had just stepped into the test chamber when you whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, G-Man. Our mutual friend. Oh, that explains the name of this chapter. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reason. Well, yeah, it's she, man. Gordon. Hmm. There's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may this thing shut up? Here you go. That was fast. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. Huh? What do you mean, change of plans? No way we can launch before those striders are. Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. Tea time. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Freeman, striders are coming. Mm -hmm. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our mm -hmm. We Don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest, and this ingenious new weapon of mine, in your hands. Call it the Magnuson device. <laughs> the Magnuson device. The label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. It did? Look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now, what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, <laughs> we'll let you get into yeah. practice. <laughs> it you does, do, don't it? Uh, so we grab the thing with a gravity gun. We take gravity gun, Don't we alarm, aim it, Freeman. we stick to the strider. Days of your friends are a thing of the past. And there is no step four. Step four is a uh, number strider, I guess. Now, out in the field. We'll supply you with all the Magnuson Ooh, devices sorry. you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the strider. Oh, I see. As you can see, the Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their target. I say. Wait. Damn. For the carapace. All right. Good. Now take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, I see that explains ah, the pistol ammo. Difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would imagine. More I would imagine that'd be a bit more difficult. Mariah, send the target to the far end of the rail. Is this thing on a freaking rail? Yes, well, that's what that's for. And apparently, this word against name is Mariah. Well, a bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? I missed. Ah, uh, just a bit. I I barely overshot it though. So, like so? No. <laughs> okay. Carapace, Freeman. Shut up. Oh, well, where would I need to do? I just need to do it.
Okay, so at this particular range, I need to essentially face it, point it at its head, and then go up about halfway. Yeah. And then do that zoom thing to load up. Yeah. Yeah, so let's see. I can see the head. I can bring it down just a bit. And I missed. Damn. Hmm. Let's see if I can't take another shot at this. So bring it down. Should hit it at the top. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Mameson. Let's go. I am ready. Yeah. Your car is fueled and ready to car? go. Now every building in the valley has its own dispenser port. So you'll have ample supply of explosives. Okay. Now I must get back to my rocket. Okay. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesins. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Fuck. So you talking about when I destroyed the uh, microwave with the uh, one thing in it? <clears throat> I actually did that, by the way, in uh, the original Half-Life series. I, I did destroy the microwave. I, I took the crowbar to it and whack. Uh, but that was after the uh, Cascade... Uh, Cascade Resonance? Oh, hell, what the... I, 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 I am blanking on names for events right now. Uh, and what things are. Um, yeah, that, that was after the uh, whole invasion happened. Let's go with that word. I know that word. <laughs> I know what that word means. Dr. Freeman, over here. Um, yeah. Cool. What's up? I've taken How's it a going? few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnus and devices back here. Oh. So you do. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, okay. it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need oh. to fail. Oh. Check this map. Okay. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. So I see this building to the left, building to the right, and you were actually in the way, guy. There's a building to the left and right there as well. A couple of towers I'm going to assume up there. Okay. Anything behind this? No. <clears throat> so I love how we're given this RPG. And we already have full ammo. Um. <clears throat> throat. Knock it off. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to end off the episode here. This might be a bit short of one. Um, who the hell are you? So, soldier guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end off the episode here. I've had a past few episodes be extremely long, so yeah. Uh, anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me right now. Uh, if you did, remember to leave a like, and uh, until next time, take it easy.